What is Pafuji locking? Generally, everyone knows about uh, lock Fuji and uh, something is very new and looks like uh, term itself very familiar or very similar to lock Fuji. So we can understand something very new in lock Fuji. Um, so we will see some history of uh, lock Fuji. So initially, like uh, um, when they started writing a Java program, so generally people will start with the system dot 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 printl. Later, they uh, discovered something statements we have to print it in a dedicated file. By have perhaps uh, a log file that was ruled daily. So wanted it to be more. Uh, uh, final control of log statements would be written so day by day they started writing a log for j based on a dedicated file and making a uh, like for example one file is created on top of that when uh, i mean creating a uh, some size for that file and based on that day it will create one more file and giving versioning to that so many uh, flexibilities which are required for the uh, developer uh, are available in log4j for example if you see right uh, we can able to enable any kind of uh, levels based on the environment without changing our code at all because something like if we want to change a ride in our code we have to change many places but log4j is creating creating or giving that flexibility uh, to the user to make any kind of uh, uh, changes flexibly and what is Perfoche? So Perfoche is something like uh, it will calculate and display the performance statics for the Java code. So what does that mean? Performance, okay, something is similar, but what it can be uh, done by uh, Perfoche? For example, uh, generally Java developer, whenever we wrote any method, what you what will do? Uh, something like we want to see the execution time, how that is happening, and uh, for example, I have each layer. So how that each layer is uh, taking time? So if I have a single request, which one, which layer is taking more uh, uh, time for that request? So many things will be there which we uh, have, which we want to calculate. So in that case, what we'll do? We'll use system dot current time milis to display system dot outer print alert. So that that's what perform J is performing uh, instead of us. That will take care. So, what is the special in it? So, log for something is differently doing it. I am trying to use it. So, perfoj if simply it is written in system dot current time list to display performance. Why I have to go to perfoj? Okay, yeah, something we should have a different right. Okay, once uh, for example using perfoj. Uh, if we are able to calculate the time of course but perfoj is something like we can create a graph and we can see aggregated uh, performance statics for example i have a method which is taking 23 seconds after that 42 seconds after that some 63 seconds so it will give you the average time and what is the minimum time it is taking what is the maximum time it is taking so many things like that and the graph picture also i can see for this how the performance is taking for the particular method so many advantages using perfoj of course not only that so um, for example if you don't want to specifically create a, a graph or aggregated time period using a log 4 j directly uh, changing log 4 j uh, once we create um, once we display performance using perfoj we have a feasibility go and run some commands using perfoj so here i have uh, noted down some uh, future software uh, simple stopwatch mechanism is there something like uh, whenever uh, execution starts we have to start and once execution is done we have to make it stop and just now only see uh, just now only we saw something like we can calculate uh, 
aggregated statics and uh, performance graphs using command line. Easy integration, yeah, very easy integration. We know already log4j and uh, we can integrate perf4j along with the log4j. And uh, uh, we have a common log, I mean Apache commons logging and sl4j. We can connect it to perf4j. There is no issue at all. And uh, custom log4j logback uh, appenders to generate static sticks and graphs in a running application. So uh, not only you go and specifically run command line through so we have a option to write a log for j properties of course we have to say for j properties to create uh, graphs and uh, uh, aggregated timings so we have many things like that we have a profile which can apply for annotations and we have an extensible architecture to and here I have a given a very basic example uh, which I am trying to unlock perf4j uh, using a Java program and uh, I'm, I'm using here log4j properties not a perf4j properties so because whoever are using log4j application already I want to make them use this example so this is our log4j example there is no change at all here and uh, along with the log4j we have to add a perf4j jar too so generally how we will create we will create a logger so i have an email method for that i am using a uh, uh, log4j this is not log4j this is stopwatch which is available in perf4j so i am creating a perf4j uh, object when my execution starts of course i don't have any specific execution so to make some uh, give some execution time i have used threaded.sleep and after that don't forget to give a tag for this so this one uh, based on this indication only will be able to calculate it because we should have some name to uh, execution so based on this only we can able to identify this is the email execution which uh, is taking this much execution time once execution mm, completes we have to make it stop i have one more method phone i am creating perf4j object with the phone tag and after execution i am making stop so these two are getting called from the main method so this program i have executed multiple times to make uh, different different times uh, using different intervals of thread sleep if you see right see the email execution start this is the log to backup perf4j of course these two statements i have given and this third statement from perf4j class stopwatch class then again phone this is my again perf4j so this is the format which is following perf4j so don't change this format of course if you see you now this uh, object whatever we are creating stopwatch if you see stopwatch dot get message this will be the value for that okay so don't uh, this is the very important which perf4j is reading and displaying in a different format sir. So this is the time period and this is the value which we have created for that. So you can see performance uh, statistic, uh, statistics. So uh, perf4j using jar and this is the java log of course my log uh, log file. I have a given a time period of uh, period of time. So it's something like uh, we have to mention uh, with which time period you need to uh, know count how many times executed how many uh, how much uh, minimum time it is taking and average to so this one we will give it and graphic graphic yeah this way and if you want to know uh, any more uh, command lines you can extend with this so I have added more also help helpline for the perf4j and this is very very uh, simple program and uh, uh, it will uh, display performance very nicely 
using a log 4j how log 4j is flexible for a user and power 4j is also and not that heavy application it's very easy and very easy to implement i hope this gave some idea about power 4j thank you